This is a 1961 wheel horse 551. It has so much character. We call it Justin, like just in case. And I'm thinking this weekend I want to get it running. This tractor was the first year of the two piece cast iron unidrive transmission. This is the same basic transmission design that lasted through 2005. What a run. There's a lot of customizations on this tractor and they will stay. There's a clutch pedal extension, some type of a parking brake. The footrests are upside down and backwards. Floorboards have been added. It's got a custom handle for the rope start. This tractor should have a five horse Tecumseh, but this is actually an H60, which is a six horsepower. It's got this cool rear implement lift. A very unique case themed paint job. And look at this throttle. That's pretty cool. I believe that that is the ignition switch and that is the starter button. But this tractor should be able to start without a battery. So, for now, it will run without. The recoil was quite lazy. It didn't want to rewind very well. I took it off, sprayed some WD-40 in it, and wrapped another round on the rope. Now I'd say it's doing all right. I shot some WD-40 on this throttle and got it working well. I verified that my oil level is adequate. The fuel bowl looks pretty clean. And the gas tank sniffs pretty dry and not very rancid. So let's see if this thing wants to fire up. We're gonna choke it. I see fresh fuel in the bowl and I don't see any fuel leaking out of the carb. So that either means the float's stuck shut or the carb's not leaking. I'm doing a lot of assuming here that the ignition up is on. Okay, first pull with the ignition switch in the center and fire it up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna give it a little more fuel. <laughs> 